bit of a long overdue video. Uh, the uh, Massey 3125, an update, what's happened with it, and what's happening next, I guess. So, um, quite a few months ago, uh, this happened. Well, hello, welcome back. Hope you can hear me. Um, a bit of a uh, sudden change of uh, events with this. Uh, and sadly, I'm on the way to the auctions with the uh, big Massey. Um, it's time for it to go, and uh, it's on the way to the auction. So I'll uh, get you a bit more info as we go along. All right then. the auctions it went a little bit of a impromptu decision uh, I was always wanting to sell it when I'd done it uh, but time at the minute with a young family just seems to be always at a short supply um, so I decided to take it to the auction see how it did if it didn't do any good I was gonna bring it back and uh, stick with it but uh, it did brilliantly I was over the moon um, so it's gone to uh, a new home, hopefully. Apparently went up to uh, Ripon Way. So, if uh, you know where it's gone, <laughs> let me know. I'd love to know where it went and uh, and to see how it was going on. And if uh, somebody's putting it to some good work and it's uh, and it's living again, that'd be fantastic. Brilliant outcome, really, and uh, good to see. So um, that's that. It's gone. So pretty much, where do we go next? Uh, Unfortunately, the little uh, Massey 35, that went the same way, that went to the auctions, uh, and that did really well, so I'm pleased with that, so a little bit project tractor tractorless at the minute, we've got, a, we've got our, uh, our own tractors which aren't going anywhere, they're definitely stopping, um, but the grass doesn't grow for long, so uh, three days after the... Uh, Massey 35 sold. I uh, bought another one on eBay, so uh, that's where we're going this morning. Um, so stay tuned, and uh, we'll uh, see what it's like when I get there. I've not seen it yet, so it could be a, a bit of a nail. We'll see, but the pictures look good. Looks tidy enough. If it's good, we'll get it, bring it back, and uh, have a look over it and see where we go from there. Nice one. Right, we'll. Uh, we're on our way back over the uh, over the Pennines and the observant ones amongst you will see that uh, uh, I don't have a tractor on the back so the reason for that is it was no good uh, it was a 1975 uh, International 574 uh, tidy enough new tires nicely painted rims been outside for a fair few years not started for a long time there was no coolant in the uh, radiator uh, and there was a lot of very milky oil in the sump so my guess was that uh, the liners were leaking apparently that's a uh, common fault with them that the um, groove that the o-ring sits in on the block corrodes um, allowing the water to escape into the uh, sump and uh, not really fixable if the uh, groove on the blockers corroded so he offered it uh, a chunk cheaper but I decided the best thing to do was to uh, come home empty handed so uh, <clears throat> that's what I've done so there you go you can't win them all um, I do fancy something else so I'll keep you posted on what else I go and find and uh, you can come along um, I'll try and uh, show you uh, show you what I find so there you go um, I think that's it for this one um, like I say the mass is gone sadly both masses have gone um, but I am looking to find something else so uh, that's where we'll go with the channel I've got a few other little things um, a few other engines I need to get started I'm gonna do a few videos on those hopefully if I get a chance 
I might just have to streamline my videos a little bit to make them a bit less time consuming, a bit like this. Um, and hopefully, uh, if you're interested, keep watching. Now, if you are interested in uh, Massey Ferguson 3125s, there is a new channel um, just started up an Irish bloke with two twin sons going through uh, th a 3125 mechanically bodywork the lot so uh, nice short little videos of him just showing you what they're getting up to uh, on an evening in the workshop um, so if I can I'll put a link in the uh, description below if I can't I'll stick it on like you do at the bottom but I believe their channel's called uh, Gears Tears and Beers or something along those lines so I'll stick that in have a look at them if you're interested in uh, Big Fergies, um, lots of mechanical stuff on there. Went a lot going on, going into the gearbox, new clutch, new uh, planetary gears, new uh, handbrake discs, the lot. So we're going further than I did into the tractor. So it's quite interesting if you're up on that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.